In this video, we are going to find an element using the ancestor child relationship with CSS selectors. Let's inspect the vertical slider. Our tag is span with a class value of range slider handle. Write span dot range slider handle. And we see 11 elements. How do we trim our search down to one element? Let's try going up to the parent and the type one of the values for class. div dot range hyphen slider space. We still see 11 results. For a direct relationship between parents and the child, we can use a space or angle bracket and it will work either way. I'm going to use a space because the ancestor child relationship will not work with an angle bracket. How about the other value for class? Change range slider to vertical range. Okay, that's better. It returns two results. What's the other element with the same value? This is one of two. Let's look at two of two. Notice the child and parent contain the same values for class attribute for both elements. Even the slider value for role is the same. However, the ancestor, also known as grandparent, is different for both elements. This ancestor has large six and the columns for class in the div tag. The first element has many values for class in the div tag. We can get one of one if we use the parent and grandparent, but that value will be long. Therefore, we skip the parent by removing the parent. Then write div dot small hyphen three. Now the results are one of one when we use the ancestor and the child. Online courses coming soon. Books available in paperback, ebook, and PDF. All Part 1 ebooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium Automation Book. And TestNG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.